Hey everybody, this is Alex Wyckoff at Brave, and I'm going to walk you through our new feature, Sync. So uh, for this example, I happen to have a virtual machine up and running, and then I have my local Brave installation as well. This is just to simulate two computers. At current, with this brand new release of Sync, it only works from computer to computer. The mobile versions are going to be coming in just a little bit. So the very first thing we're going to do is say, I am new to Sync, and you give your machine some kind of a name. So I'll say, in this case, like Alex's laptop. So there we have it, and then we have some options. We can choose what kind of d data that we want to sync. Um, I'm going to add everything. If I decide that I don't want to sync anymore, I can hit Reset Sync, and just to be very careful about this, um, it will remove this particular like local laptop from the sync group, but it doesn't mean that the entirety of the sync group disappears, right? So um, just this is more important when you get into like when you're having many, many, many laptops, but for a two laptop scenario, it's nothing too much to worry about. So do read the instructions in detail here, um, just so you know the nuance of what's going on. So you can reset, it's very simple, but we're just gonna do it one more time. So here is, whoa, all caps. So we're ready to go. Now we have a bunch of code words and over here on this new device, we are also going to try and get it to join the sync group. And instead of saying I am new to sync, I'm gonna say I have an existing code. So we need code words. And we're going to copy over these code words. And of course, because it's on the same machine, I can get away with this. Um, otherwise, you would have to type them in by hand. Um, there we go. Cool. Now these devices are synced in the same sync group. And I can choose what data from this machine I want to sync as well. So we'll join this history. At current, neither of these have a bookmark, so I'm just going to navigate to a random website like brave.com. And I'm going to add a bookmark. And just for the fun of it, we're going to rename this bookmark Sync Test. And you can see that it's not instantaneous. You have to know that what's happening is there's a check that happens every so often to see if something changed when it's changed then it will push up the new information in an encrypted fashion and it will then check on the other side over here and say oh hey I've detected a change and pull that information down and then add it and sure enough the bookmark showed up over here and you can see that it kept the original title Now let's try another website. Um, just for the fun of it, let's do Hacker News. And I'll add a bookmark for that. And similar story. We'll just wait until the change is pushed up and then the change is detected on this side and it's pulled down. So while we're waiting, uh, I'll warn you about just one thing. If you're like me and you happen to have many, many, many bookmarks, like not in a demo scenario like this, but in real life, if you happen to have many, many, many bookmarks, when you sync for the very first time, you might have to wait just a little bit on the second machine for it to pull down all the information. And here we have it. There's the new bookmark. So you can see that data goes between these two devices without an issue. And if I were to check the history over here, oops, I need to show history. Then we should see, sure enough, Hacker News, and that's when I visited it over here. Now, we don't tell you what device went where. Um, 
it, but we do show just the entirety of the history. You can always clear that, of course, anytime that you want to, like so. But that's sync, and like I said, if you ever want to leave a sync group, then you just go to reset sync, like so, and choose to reset sync, and it's no problem. So hopefully that gets you on the way towards getting your devices to have all the bookmarks shared between one another, as well as save site settings for browsing history. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at community.brave.com. We've added a new sync category right at the top, and you can put all of your questions right in there. Thanks for watching.